guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chip and in today's video I am super excited, which I feel like I say in every video. I'm excited to share with you guys my thoughts, review, swatches on a new palette. Now this is the Warrior 3 palette by Juvia and oh my gosh. She is so pretty. So if you want to see how I created this look, a full swatches of this palette and just my overall thoughts, then stay tuned and let's open her up. and purchased the new Juvia Place palette and this is called the Warrior 3 palette. Absolutely stunning. I really, really love this artwork. On the back of the box, it gives you more information about the palette. They are three shades that are pressed pigments and the rest of them are eyeshadows. So when I open the box up, it does come fully wrapped in bubble wrap which I think is fantastic and then here is the actual product and you guys I love and again I say this all the time I love when companies just transfer over the box packaging onto the palette so I can toss this and still keep just such a wonderful design look at this artwork it is so stunning I love the ombre look at the very back going from blues purples vibrant pink at the bottom and then just Oh, this African goddess, just goddess right here, dead center. Her look is amazing. It is so bright. It is bold. I can't say enough. Like this is so, so stunning. So stunning. So yeah, this is the packaging. For packaging wise, I love it. I just, I feel so drawn and inspired just by looking at this palette. And when we open up the palette, it does come with a protective slip. And then this is the artwork that is inside of the palette. There's no mirror in these types of palettes from this company, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, just the artwork is stunning. You have this lovely gold accent. And again, this very beautiful African goddess. And then here are the shades in the palette. All so vibrant, all so beautiful. And then on the back of the packaging, you also get the information that was identical to the box. So you get the shades that are pressed pigments, you get the shades that are just eyeshadows, it does say cruelty free, and it says it was designed and formulated in the USA. This palette does last for up to 24 months, but again, you can definitely keep using eyeshadows past this little stamp date, and it says you are a warrior also. So I just love it. I just love, love this packaging. So for packaging, I give this a 10 out of 10. It is just stunning. It's a aesthetically pleasing and I just love staring at this palette. I feel very inspired, very creative when I look at it. And yeah, so I'm super excited about this and I'm glad that I picked it up. So let's go ahead and jump into swatches because I really want to show you what this looks like on my skin tone. So the first shade here, this is a lovely green matte. And the second one is a yellow matte, looking a little mustard yellow. And the third is a deep red matte shadow. So let's give these a swatch. And this is the swatch of the first row. I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit. All right, so this is a swatch of the first row. Again, very pigmented, and I honestly feel like these shadows are just so smooth and buttery. Formula is definitely true to Juvia's palettes, so nothing has changed there, and definitely buildable if you want just a little more color oomph. But I am loving these shades. Very vibrant, very colorful. Now these are the next three shades in the palette. Now these three shades are pressed pigments, and this is by the the back of the box. So the first one here, this is like an orangey matte. And then we have a lovely deep purple. And the last one is a very nice Barbie pink. Okay, so these are the swatches. So let me just clean this up real quick. So these are the next three shades in the palette. Again, these are all pressed pigments and I'm just loving the vibrancy of this palette so far. And this pressed purple, oh, so, so gorgeous. And these are the last three shades in the palette. So starting here, we have a very, very gorgeous metallic blue. And then we have a really nice metallic silver. And then lastly, we're ending with a really nice baby blue matte. So let's give these three a swatch.
And look at those metallics. I feel like Juvia does such a great job with their metallic shades. So, so pretty. Okay, so here are the last three shades. Very, very pretty. And honestly, again, these metallics are just so, so stunning. So this completes the swatches of the palette. And I'm just loving the vibrancy. I'm loving the pigmentation and just the color options. This would be a great summer and fall palette. And yeah, I think this would also be a really good spring palette. So an all-round here palette. And... And I'm super excited to share with you guys this look I created. So with that being said, let's jump into the makeup tutorial. And to create this look, I only used shades from this palette, so let's jump right into it.
Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and also looking at the swatches of this palette. So this is the first time that I have jumped into this palette, used it, swatched it, just played with it. And my first impressions, I really do like it. I felt like the colors placed really well. They also did build up very easily. I did want a very dark, vibrant purple and so just packing on the color the color stayed it didn't flake off and it blended everything blended well together um I think the colors also worked really well with the Jeffree Star um the lower liquid lipstick which was nice so I was able to create a really nice dramatic cut crease and they placed really well under my eye my waterline I did get a little bit of fallout using the yellow shade in the palette but I think I mean honestly I was really wanting to pack that color on so I didn't dust off anything from my brush or tap anything off so that's fine but again I love to do my eyes first before my foundation um, but I feel like if you do your foundation first this palette would be fine setting powder under your eye and you'll be good to go and yeah I'm just loving it I am loving the vibrancy I'm loving this yellow it is really hard for me to find a yellow that is like vibrant and that places well on my eye. I do always have to use a white base with any yellow that I use, so that's fine, I'm used to it. So would I recommend this palette for the price point? price point, I say yes. I think it's a great, vibrant palette. I think the artwork is just absolutely stunning. And it's it's a nice small size, so very good to travel. There's no mirror in here, so no need to think of like, oh my gosh, what if the mirror breaks? Um, but yeah, I love this company. I love their palettes, and I'm glad that I could add this to the collection. And if you don't have like a good, vibrant palette, I do say this would be a good one to pick up. And if you are a makeup enthusiast like myself, then and this is a really good one to add to your collection. So my overall thoughts, a first impression of this palette, 10 out of 10. I love it. Packaging, swatches, makeup look. I love it. I really do love it. It's amazing. It's amazing. So with that being said, let me know what you think of this look. Let me know what you think of the palette, swatches, if you have it, if you want it, what you think about it, anything about this video. Let's talk about it down below. I do love chatting with you guys in the comments. And that is really all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.